Hey everybody is watching. Uh, today I'm going to have a quick look at the Fuji X100T uh, against the Olympus Pen F. Uh, I've been using both of these cameras for a little while now and quite a lot of people ask me which is the better one to get. Obviously you've got the X100T with the larger APS-C size sensor uh, but it does have a fixed lens on it. Uh, the Pen F uses the Micro Four Thirds sensor uh, and it's teamed up here with the Olympus 17mm f1.8 which is roughly the same focal length when you uh, get the equivalents. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at the features, uh, we'll have a look at the handling, I'll show you some image quality comparisons uh, and some high ISO noise comparisons uh, and just get a general feel for the cameras. I've been using the X100T now for uh, nearly two years so I'm very used to this. I got the Pen F um, about one month ago, six weeks ago, and I've been using this to shoot quite a lot of portraits and landscapes. Again, what I'll do is I'll pop them up on the screen. You can also go to the website www.thecotswoldphotographer.com and you can see full res image samples on there. Uh, and I'll just take you around the cameras just so you get a feel for what you're getting. Uh, I'll do a size comparison. Uh, one thing you'll notice is I'm in a, a makeshift office at the moment. This is my Baha'i Kubo summer house. Uh, we're in Asia at the moment uh, doing some shoots. Uh, I'll be back in Europe uh, in a couple of months time. So I've got to make do with uh, slow internet and it's pretty hot here right now. So neither of these cameras are weather sealed. It hasn't really affected anything at the moment. Uh, there's been torrential rain. Uh, I tend to cover them up but both are working perfectly well. Uh, in terms of handling, uh, you can see that they're similar size. Uh, I think the X100T is just very slightly larger. Uh, and on top, you can see both have a very nice finish. I would say the Pen F has a nicer finish. The metallic color on it is brighter, it's shinier. Uh, obviously, the, the Fuji has uh, some external dials, but the Pen F has more. The, the Fuji is based on the X-Series cameras. Uh, and you have this nice external shutter speed dial. Uh, it goes up to one four thousandth of a second. You can set it onto auto mode. It also has exposure compensation dial. And it also has a physical aperture dial on the lens. Uh, when you combine all the physical controls of the Fuji, it makes it really easy to set up uh, before even looking into the viewfinder. Whereas on the uh, Olympus Pen F, you're dealing with a, a more standard PASM dial. Uh, it's got four custom modes and a locking button, which is really useful. Uh, and when you're changing the aperture and the shutter speed, you'll be using the uh, control dials at the front here and at the rear. Uh, it's more like a, a standard DSLR in this way. The Pen F has got a fully articulating LCD screen, whereas the Fuji has just got a solid static screen. The one thing I've found with the Fuji X100T is the dials can be knocked when you're getting it in and out of your bag, uh, which you know can be slightly irritating, but just check that every time you get it out of your bag, it's not a problem. Uh, in terms of grip, the Fuji has a, a slight grip on the front, very, very small, but it's bigger than the one on the Pen F, which has no grip at all, but both cameras are pretty comfortable in the hand, uh, especially with the small lenses that they're paired with. Okay, so enough already about the physical controls and the layout and the features of both the cameras here. Um, let's take a look now, because I know this is important to most people. Let's take a look at the image quality um, from both the Pen F and the Fuji X100T. Uh, remember, we're comparing here APS-C versus Micro Four Thirds sensor. Um, so let's actually take a look, see what the differences are, uh, and see whether you know, one is much better than the other. Okay, so these two images were shot next to each other, side by side, on a tripod, uh, both at the same settings, and um, the colors are pretty similar. The Fuji's got a little bit more contrast, uh, but what you see is the Olympus Pen F and the 17 1.8 are actually a little bit sharper, uh, and their colors were actually a little bit more like what I was seeing. And now these two uh, black and white images, um, they were both straight out of camera JPEGs. Um, they're shot at different times, but you can see that the tones and the contrast is pretty similar. Uh, I used the color wheel for the Olympus Pen F shot, 
uh, and just tone down the contrast a little bit and you end up with quite a similar file to the Fuji. But between the two, I prefer the Pen F's JPEG there. Uh, it's just got a little bit more contrast, a little bit more punch. Okay, so here's a raw file from the uh, Olympus Pen F. Uh, we shot that uh, with the 45 millimeter 1.8 at ISO 3200. Uh, and that was indoor in pretty poor light, just window light. Uh, and here you can see the crop. Uh, and what you see in the crop is there is quite a bit of noise at 3200 still on the micro four thirds sensor. Uh, the grain's pretty good though, it's not ugly. Um, and it's a pretty usable file, so I'd be happy to use that. Mm -hmm. Here's uh, another shot, shot in the same light at the same time, uh, but this time with the Fuji. Um, and again at ISO 3200. Uh, you can see the grain is a little bit less on the Fuji file. Uh, it's also uh, a little bit finer. Uh, but I think they're still pretty much showing the, a similar amount of noise. The, the Micro Four Thirds certainly is showing more. I'd give the Fuji about a stop uh, better performance. Uh, but it has been noted as well that Fuji do still um, add some noise reduction in their raw files. So I'm not sure whether this is the true output of the sensor or whether there's some noise reduction in there. Uh, you can see some softening around the eyes and around the eyebrows. Both these cameras give great image quality. Uh, I really, at this, at this level, it, the camera is not going to be uh, what holds you back from taking great images. Um, what, you know, it, it's down to the photographer. When you get this quality of camera, uh, it's the photographer that's quite often the weakest link, and that includes me as well. Choose whichever camera you like the style of the best, whichever has the features that you like the most. Do you prefer using uh, a standard PASM mode dial? Or would you rather have the physical shutter dial uh, of the X100T? Do you prefer an optical viewfinder or an electronic viewfinder? If you pick the Fuji, you've got the best of both worlds. If you pick the Pen F, you only have an EVF, but it is a better one than what you find in the X100T. In terms of customization, both cameras are very configurable. Uh, you have seven custom functions on the Fuji, so you can set it up pretty much how you want it. Uh, the Pen F customization on that is virtually limitless. So in summary, I'd say if you want something that's very customizable, uh, is very flexible as a system, and you want something lightweight that you can take with you everywhere, the Pen F's a great choice. It's brilliant for street photography. It's great for portraits. The new black and white modes are beautiful. Uh, the raw output is very good. Uh, the highlights uh, and also the dynamic range uh, is excellent. And of course, you can change lenses. If you want a simple camera that's very well built, gives excellent image quality, uh, and you can pocket it and take it with you everywhere, you like an optical viewfinder, but you appreciate the benefits of an EVF, even though it's not a great one, then the Fuji is also a great choice. I did a comparison of the JPEG output and the RAW output from both of these cameras just to see what colors they were putting out because both Olympus and Fuji are renowned as having pretty much the best JPEG engines uh, in the industry. You can see the results on the website. Um, so don't forget to check those out. It's uh, www.thecotswoldphotographer.com. Uh, and don't forget, soon we'll be getting in a Fuji X-T2 and an Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II, and we'll put those two up against each other. Okay, guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.